Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the weekend and week ahead brought to you exclusively by Flyer in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Now, there are some flying windows to be found during the coming week, but things are turning a little more mixed. We've got quite a breezy start to the forecast and then we do go into a mixed weekend. But like I say, I think there are going to be some flying windows in there for some of us. And then briefly, things do become better as we head into next week. But we do still have some rain and some low cloud to contend with, particularly in western areas, uh, before the end of the forecast period. I'll tell you more about that in just a second. Now, are you getting my uh, weekend forecast that goes out on a Friday? It's an email that I send out. It enables me to update you on the flying forecast for the weekend. You don't get any spam. You don't get any rubbish. It's just so I know I can give you the latest information. It's completely free of charge. And uh, to receive those emails on a Friday, just send a blank email to the address you see on the screen there, aviationweather-subscribe at weatherweb.net, and I will add you onto that list. Weather school is completely full as well at the moment. All of my schools coming up are full. So um, if you want to go on the waiting list so that you get notified when I announce my next weather school dates, go to weatherschool.co.uk, come down to the contact us section here and just fill in the contact form and just let me know on there that uh, you want me to add you onto that list and I will do that with pleasure. Okay, this is how things shape up then for Thursday. High pressure up towards north, strong easterly wind. Starting off fair Thursday morning, but cloud increasing from the east during the course of the day, bringing outbreaks of rain through East Anglia, South East England into the eastern Midlands by evening. Many western areas though do stay fine, but as I say, it is going to be pretty windy particularly in the east. Now, by Friday, low pressure is drifting through the channel. It brings a band of rain across northern England, northern Wales, parts of the northern Midlands, non-VFRable here with some embedded QNIMs and bases of 2,000 feet tops at 20,000 feet of those QNIMs, typically though more around 15,000 feet. Further south, there will be some heavy showers forming, so it's marginal here as those heavy thundery showers develop. More eastern and far southwestern areas may actually fare better. It may be flyable in those areas. A strong wind affecting Scotland and Northern Ireland, but mostly flyable here, 4,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. And it'll probably be Northwest Scotland that is best of all. Now through Saturday, quite a messy picture on Saturday. Low pressure is in control. We've got this band of cloud and outbreaks of rain across southern Scotland, across parts of eastern Ireland, through parts of northern England. This makes for mostly non-VFRable weather here. 1,000 foot bases, 10 to 12,000 foot tops. A few showers for northern England, for northern Wales, so marginal here because of those showers. But across much of the rest of England and Wales, it is VFRable. Perhaps some morning fog, but that will be clearing away. And then bases of around two to 3,000 feet, tops about 10,000 feet. A risk of some rain, some showers, just clipping southeast England, becoming non-verifiable here if that happens. Now, a weak cold front gets into northern Scotland, making it marginal here as that front moves south. But in between, it looks as if it shouldn't be too bad. Quite strong winds in northern Scotland as well. Lighter winds elsewhere. By Sunday, low pressure is in the North Sea. It's quite an active area of low pressure, bringing in north to north easterly winds. Now, that's pushing front south, as you can see here. So this brings quite a late season Arctic maritime air mass to much of the country. Non-verifiable as these bands of showers and rain move south, 2,000 foot bases, 15 to 18,000 foot top. Some QNIMs to deal with in there as well. Northern Scotland seeing a few showers making for marginal conditions here, but Western Scotland, probably much of Ireland, probably much of Wales, much of South West England, generally verifiable, 3,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. Just watch, watch for some showers on northern facing coasts. Now, by Monday, we've got this north to northwesterly flow across eastern Scotland and eastern parts of England. That brings marginal conditions with it. And we're looking at bases of around 2,000 feet tops at around 14,000 feet. Could be some QNIMs associated with those showers as they move south and it may briefly be breezy on those eastern coasts. For most other areas it's a fair day we've got some spells of sunshine to come generally light winds 
Base is about three to 4,000 feet. Tops at about 8,000 feet. But increasing cloud for Southern Ireland, for southwestern parts of England as well, from this area of low pressure that wants to move its way eastwards. That brings non-VFR conditions here late on in the day with low cloud moving in. Now, on to Tuesday, a better day. High pressure is in control. Again, could be a few showers down the eastern coast. So just going marginal at times here, but generally it's VFRable. Further west, it's a VFRable day. Morning mist and perhaps some fog patches. They will clear quickly. Base is 4,000 feet, tops about 7,000 feet. And then by Wednesday, uh, the high pressure off towards the east. Generally, it is they're farable here but you see this area of fronts moving its way northwards they bring cloud and rain to ireland eventually to western parts of wales and southwest england and they will move their way slowly eastwards into western scotland possibly northwest england possibly central wales central southern parts of england as the day progresses so a bit of a deterioration coming in but once they've cleared through it looks like a ridge of high pressure wants to build back in again making the end of the week a little bit better so there's lots going on, but you see there what I mean about there being some flying windows to be found. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Don't forget to send a blank email about the weekend forecast if you'd like to get that every Friday completely free of charge. Just send a blank email to the address you see on the screen there. And also for my weather school courses, just fill in the uh, contact us uh, page. Let me know that you want to go on the wait list uh, or at least on the list to be notified of when our next courses are in operation okay i will leave you with that for now whatever you're doing thanks again for watching keep the sun shining and bye for now